Hey, back on your screen with another vlog. I know it's been a minute, but this should be up by mid-March. I mean, this has a deadline, so it kind of has to be. I'm so excited for my first Fawn Con of 24 to be Fab Fit Fun. I've heard about these boxes for years and I've always been afraid to take the plunge but it was so easy to use and they give you so many options too. You got five or six products to pick for the six that you pick for the month. You can use Alicia 20 to get 20% off your box or Alicia 20 gift to get an annual subscription. The first thing I got is this Swell salad bowl. I love Swell but I'm not big on salads. I put my fried rice in here. Then I also chose the Grown Alchemist as you know Grown Alchemist is one of the brands this is a scrub that I absolutely love. I've been using it about three times a week the last couple weeks. You'll see midway through this vlog, I do a proper unboxing. But I just put everything back in the box to show you guys because I figured at the top of it, when you're all here, you might want to see what I got. This lip balm, I have a love-hate relationship. I'm not big on things that tingle and cool and have that pumping effect. This does all of that, but it's so moisturizing. It's like, I like it, but I don't want to like it. This here smells like something from herbivore. I can't put my finger on it, but it's a really good reflective eye cream. I don't think it does much for deep puffing, but the reflective qualities makes it look like I'm not Dracula all the time, so I don't mind. Something else in here I wanted to show before the last big thing. Where'd it go? Oh, right here. They put the prices next to the products you pick so you know what you're picking. So when I saw Pat McGrath and the price tag next to this, I said, I would never purchase this on my own, plus I can't even remember the last time I used Lulu liner. I know I was playing myself when I put this in my cart. I tried and you'll see on TikTok the struggle is real when you can't see your waterline. It works well, but I can't use it well. And last but biggest is this bag from Beyond Yoga. Since I can't drive, because if I could, then I would just put everything in my car. I am my own vehicle. I like this convertible backpack. You can also wear it like a side strap. But the more stuff I put in it, the more I want to actually wear it on my back. And that's what I'm going to do today when I run errands. So like I said, if you want to get your own spring box, you can use my code Alicia20. Or if you want to go in and do annual, you can use Alicia20 gift and get your own customizable box and let me know what you get. I'm going to start this vlog where we left off. I thought about doing a little bit of inception and starting from here and back, but I think that's just too much for editing Alicia. So we'll see about that. But I hope you enjoyed this one. Another vlog. The last time we met, I was in Antigua and that trip was nothing short of amazing. I can't wait to see the footage at the time of me talking. I have just imported it to my external hard drive and it is officially full. Two terabytes. My SD card decided to start playing tricks on me, similar to just now, where it says no space on card. I don't know if it's actually vocal or it's just doing what it likes to do. Anywho, I formatted again, so hopefully it doesn't freeze on me because I went through this already. I opened this package for you, but that's okay. Packages, package, and you know I don't like that crinkly sound anyway. So I'll show you what I got from Lululemon the day that I flew out. If it just came 24 hours before, I would have had these to throw in my suitcase as things to lounge around. Cause if you know me, you know I live for a good athleisure set. And I got two different colors. I got this lilac shade, which is so pretty, but I kind of feel like I don't need it. So why keep it? I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. I mean, maybe I shouldn't speak cause the way I booked Antigua super last minute, I mean, the way this year is going, Stay tuned, definitely subscribe because I want to have a lot more travel adventures with you guys. I got this bra, I don't remember what these are called and sorry, life would be blind, I can't tell you what the tag says, but I'll link it down below and you can see what other colors they have. The only thing is I don't really feel this rib vibe. I used to be really into ribbed, but I think I've grown out of it. So definitely returning this. And I got the energy bra, which is something I haven't gotten in a really long time. And I've never got the long line. I've always gotten the shorter one and I'm not into the sports bra that go right under the itty bitties. <laughs> this is a set that I was really hoping would have came in time. I was like, if you have to lose them and just ship them separately, but they couldn't.
it might be a little bit too long where I'm trying to go you know and then I'm gonna also get my hair done next week so I think I'll include that in this vlog. that's what I'm trying to be and do this year be intentional and cohesive and just yeah so I'm so appreciative for each and every one of you who've watched that vlog because it should be up and stuck before this one and let me know what you like about my editing style that I can bring forward in the future vlogs. Let me get back to my life off cam because I came back to chaos. <sighs> Toronto has no chill. I mean, it has too much chill. From 27 degrees in Antigua to minus 24, like that's brutal. Why do I live here? Like really, the healthcare is not free. Don't let people fool you, okay? So if that's the one reason you think about living in Toronto, not even that. <laughs> Afternoon guys. Before I get back into the blue abyss, let's talk about this. Actually, let me bring it closer. Let me show you two shipments real quick. Now, I was a little bad. I ordered these within maybe two minutes of one another. I'm fast on that Sephora app, eh? Blind blue wear what? Mm -mm. Now when it comes to new drops, okay? Now how do you open this up again? Nah, 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 nah. Once we get these open up, I'm gonna talk about my face. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put another derm clip into this vlog, because by the time this is up, that full length video should be up and stuff, but I'm still not sure if I'm gonna go back to the very last micro needling sash. I know there's like a nice little pulley, but I can't see it, so we're just going there. Okay, this is an influencer buy. So I was watching Peyton's vlog. I was falling asleep, not because she's not entertaining. Honestly, she's one of the most hilarious people here on YouTube. I have just been so exhausted. I wake up at 5.30 nowadays. Sometimes I wake up at 3.30, so watching her videos at 11 o'clock is pushing it. But I just needed to unwind a couple days ago and just not think about work. So I was watching her Sol de Janeiro brand trip, and she mentioned this. And I had seen an ad for it earlier, but I'm like, mm. Pays knows knows, so if she says this is good, moment of truth. Okay, first of all, usually when I open Sol de Janeiro, I can just woof, smell it. The fact that I can't smell it, and you know my nose is pretty good too. Okay, it's giving Jergens though. Sometimes with lotions, once you start to actually use them, it almost is like it's activated and it smells a little differently. I'm a little disappointed, honestly, which sucks because I'm a sandalwood girly. Like, for the longest time, I didn't know Saint Tao, like Saint Tao Le Labo, Saint Tao blah blah blah. Any brand that says Saint Tao is synonymous with sandalwood. The more you know, it's all right, but it's not. Oh, you know what? Do I have it out? Yes. Okay, just to paint a picture, I got this. I don't even know how long ago. I want to say two years ago, and that might still not be true. It might be longer than that. I have been cherishing this. I refuse to buy the full size of this, the big, big bottle, $60. I bought the scrub, but the scrub didn't last long, so I sent that right back. But this right here, oh, you know what? Since I'm a little weird about returning nowadays, there was a time when I had no shame. Like, I actually got a printout receipt from Sephora that said, you've done your returns for the year, but I'm just not loving this. So maybe, I'll just exchange this for one of these minis so that I can actually have, but this is 30 Canadian dollars. Like, that's trifling. <laughs> I was doing grocery shopping earlier today and the lady that was cashing me out, ooh, that cashier, she was spilling some serious tea about how it's never as busy as it used to be. People are not buying nearly as much, you know. Samples are always good from Sephora.com. I don't know if they give Sephora samples in store. To be honest, I try not to spend in the store. I find I buy more when I'm in store physically. The magic of customer service, I guess. It depends what Sephora you go to in Toronto. Sometimes they don't bother with you, and sometimes they're on you, on you. I'm so excited. I had it a second ago. I've been loving these for years. I'm so happy that TikTok made that ish go viral because those girls at Summer Friday did that. Let's see what these lip oils are saying. I tried the Rare Beauty ones last year. I think I did show you guys my vlog. Which vlog? I don't know. And they were I, not amazing, not revolutionary the way the girls were saying, but these, <clears throat> you know me, go big or go home. Whenever new lip products drop, I have to get three. Back when I used to do regular reviews where sometimes I'd buy six or seven. I wish I had that kind of money now. 
Inflation station. I cannot be spending like that these days, but I got these three shades. One is pink, one is like a nudie mauve, and the other one is, uh, I wanna say it's giving brown. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. I love that I'm coming closer to you when I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. I'm an 80s baby, 90s kid, so I still love when my stuff smells like lips and macros. I'll never grow up when it comes to that. I have no idea what this says. You probably can see better from over there than I can from right here. If I remember right, I think this is peony. Whatever it is, it's not doing it for me. I could put my mirror tonka in here. I don't know, like it's really giving Jergens, which is so disappointing. Let's wrap up with the face. So I had my third and final chemical peel. Of course, I can go up and do more if I want to, but we'll see how the results are in the next month or so. I'm not due back for a checkup until March, and then we'll assess if I should even go the micro needling route. The last two sessions were <clears throat> at best, and she was completely honest with me. She's like, we couldn't do as much as I'd hoped since you had so many breakouts. So now that you're clearing up, if you do the third micro needling, you'll definitely see results, but I can understand why you wouldn't because it's a pretty price point. Like that is expensive. I'm in the wrong industry because honestly, 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 I love how my skin feels after getting either the micro needling or the chemical peel today. It's so soft and subtle. It doesn't do anything for the wrinkles, which I kind of hoped it would help a bit, but looking back since September, mm, nothing really. I do see a difference as far as brightness and slight help with the hyperpigmentation over here, a lot with that. I still can't believe I left the country, went to Jamaica with that big bright spot on my forehead, but thank God what they prescribed to help get that out of the way. It was a specific formulation for me, so unfortunately I can't be like, oh, go out and get this or tell your doctor this because it was a percentage of this and that. At this, It was really cool. Like the way they explained it and then when I had to go to a specific pharmacy for them to formulate it for me, that was pretty neat. So overall, I've had a pretty good experience. I just wish I saw more results for being, what, five months in? But sometimes it takes a little longer. Sometimes certain things don't work. And sometimes, yeah, sometimes, sometimes. So I have a Christmas vlog and it's January 25th. Make that make sense. So there's that. <laughs> Anyways, I'll catch you guys when I catch <laughs> you. Go. We, we, we solved solve the world's problems. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna vote for me on the show? Yeah, I would definitely vote for uh, Michelle for mayor. Yeah, you can do it. You can definitely do <laughs> it. All the priorities in place. I go on TV, I'm like, that's it. We get cancelled. <laughs> right away. <laughs> mm -mm, it's stressful. You like worse than New York at this point? Who knows? Hmm. A lot of economists are saying that it's like the worst it's been in decades. Jesus. We could do April 27th at 11 a.m. Mm -hmm. David's being David. That one is Queen East. Somewhere. After the bridge, yeah. We're reminiscing on how we met seven years ago? Yeah. It's a long time. It's full circle now. Well, we didn't meet at Nando's. We met at a Filipino restaurant. Yeah, that's a lot. It's a good lot to have. Everyone else who sees me do this is scared for me, and you're saying, no, I'm going to laugh at I'm you. I'm going to laugh at you so hard, I'm going to die. <laughs> what is that? Oh. A David size shot glass. St. John's, Jolly Beach. Jolly Beach? That sounds like a Jolly Bee. <laughs> Runway Bay. English Harbor. Harbor. Nelson's Dockyard. It's like the Philippines, how there's a whole bunch of islands. Antigua and Barbuda, and there's a few other little satellite islands as well. So cute. <laughs> it's so expensive, it's like $10. Girl, in China, it's but. <laughs> If we buy this in China, this is like $2. That's just the price of things there. You've been gone, of course. I was telling her when I went to Europe, they probably got, got this for 50 cents. When I was in Madrid, the shot glasses were like 2, 3 euros. So when I saw 7, I'm like, uh, hello, Antigua. What's this? The yam stop. I think it's more fudge. Uh, I thought it was soap. This Peppermint? one's mint, mint, yeah. And the other one is fudge. You antiquants love your sugar, eh? I can see that because like it's, it looks like a full box of sugar. <laughs> I don't know, I've never had the mint one before and I've never had fun before either. You're a very bad antiquant. Thanks. Thank you. 
vloggers, fans, wow. <laughs> What's wrong That's with how this they guy? do it, the Filipino vloggers. They'll say, hey, the vloggers. I'm a good Antiguan, don't be rude. I learned so much on this trip. Okay, eat this. How do I eat this? I don't know. I have to, no, I think I have to slice. Yeah, I think you have to break it into pieces. I'm gonna, thank you though. It's a discovery for me. <laughs> discovery. I have to YouTube how to do this. I don't think you're gonna find a video on YouTube. It's so hard, eh? I'm telling you. Aww. Diabetes. Are you like worse than New York at this point? Who knows? Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. He's calling. David Girl. Dunn did it again, over ordering. There's only two of us, and this is a family meal. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Can take the last this way. Eat the rice with your hands. There. It's over there. I thought we ordered spicy, so it has a little bit of a kick. They have the sauce there. Do you want the hot one? No, it's good. It's spicy enough. The chicken is so tender. I was going to ask you if you need help. No, I'm sorry. I don't think I see you drink coffee often. I only drink in the morning. Forgetful doesn't even begin to explain what's been going on in my head lately or what's not been going on in my head. I'm so out of my blogging game. Why do I bring... Did I lose my lotion? It's giving I lost my lotion. <sighs> That's what happens when you stuff too many things in your purse. Oh well. I'm definitely out of my blogging bag. How do I pack two batteries and not put in the SD card? Like, <gasps> trying to be prepared but not prepared at the same time. Cold? I remember back in the days when I used to film religiously on Saturdays. I would plan and prep, set up, and hope to God that the sun would be in the perfect place. If it was too high in the sky, then there'd be lines from the blinds and then I couldn't film. But if it wasn't high enough, then I'd have to use my sock box and I used to fight with that thing. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna wash these gloves because... I'm gonna be germaphobe over here. When I touch too much, I get too paranoid. Tell me if you're like this, but I like to keep things in smaller containers, so I'm gonna transfer half of this into this. It's also easier for me to bring downstairs. Now, if I had ensuite laundry, I probably would skip this step. Okay, ready to put, whoa! Okay, we're not dealing with that right now. My door just broke, and I need to go because we're going to this Black History Month event at the Harborfront Center. I will deal with that when I get back, but my outfit is a gray dress, sheer tights, my white overcoat, which I hope I'm not making a mistake by going on the Gotham Transit, but I'm just gonna put on these boots because they got a little fluff inside. I'm not playing with the weather like I did yesterday. It was way too cold. My name is Anola Oluparaku and I'm the lead producer of this year's Kamba. I'm so excited to be here at the Flat Dance Theater with all of you welcoming you to this revealing poetic exploration of a play in production. All right, Evie and I just finished the spoken word. It wasn't exactly what we expected, plus I wasn't able to record anything other than beginning and end. She made note of that. But what are your thoughts, Evie? It was a lot of fun. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna talk about it more when I get home because there's something about hearing about our struggle that sometimes is just a bit a, much. Yeah. A bit much. Yeah. <laughs> like seriously? Why? I mean the ones over there are broken quite a few times. This has ever happened to you? But this oh. really having a day. And you know what started off so good today? I did my TikTok, I felt so productive, my vlog went up on time, and then this. I don't understand. Every time I pull it, it all comes forward. Why doesn't it lock in anymore? I don't want to break these nails. Yeah, 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 yeah. What am I supposed to learn from this? Oh, I think 
think it's actually broken broken not just like fallen out of the slots but like actually what the hell why did i stress myself trying to fix that i called the super game straight away and fixed it with ease honestly i don't know if i love struggle or what but let's get into this amazon haul this is the best haul of all time Bing! <laughs> this is what i should have done from the beginning honestly not me going out of the way to go and get what i thought was laundry detergent but actually turned out to be fabric softener <sighs> Life is blind. Honestly, I was in a rush, so I couldn't zoom in to see. And even though I could have put this stuff down in my hand, but it's annoying sometimes to take out your phone and try to magnify something when once upon a time, not that far away of a time, I could just look and see and be like, mm, this is not what I'm looking for. So at least now we got the detergent. That is it for my Sunday night. I'm just gonna cook, meal prep, edit a little bit, and hopefully maybe even pause. We'll see if I get it. If you think I look bummy, it's because I feel bummy too. First day of my cycle, but let's get into this box. I'm so excited. I haven't done PR in so long. There was a year when, no lie, every week I was turning down requests. They were just too random. And you would never guess, because I don't even have that many followers, so I can only imagine for the people that have hundreds of thousands of followers, how many things are in their DMs, in their inbox. Oh. All right. Am I holding it up right? Let me change the angle a bit. I swear the people who do the influencer marketing side of companies have to be sick of me because the amount of times I go back and forth with them to be like, um, it doesn't really go with my vibe. Because I don't want to start selling you guys things if I don't think I'll actually like them things. But let's just open her up. I still can't believe how mild February has been. Last week it was 15 degrees. I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'll take it over snow. I'll take it over minus something degrees. It's just crazy. So here goes. Da -da -da -da. First up is this salad bowl, and if you know me, I love swell. So when I saw this option, I'm like, hello. I'm not really big on pink, but I mean, hey. I like that this actually has the tears. If you know me, I'm not a salad person. I plan on using this for something completely different, but stay tuned to see. If you know swell, you know that it keeps cold things cold and hot things hot for a very, very long time. In fact, I got a wash out of my swell bottle from work earlier today. I use it religiously. This is... Da -da 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 -da. I don't have my phone by me to magnify, so hopefully when I open this up, by holding it, I can remember what it is. Okay, guys. You know I can't see this. I feel like this is a skincare product. I think this is skincare too. I only got one makeup item, I remember that. And even that, I was like, girl, did you forget you're legally blind? Cause this right here, <laughs> it's a liquid liner. And I haven't used liquid liner in three years cause the last time I did it, one was like this and the other one, no matter how long I tried, it took me half an hour to get it crooked. And I was like, you know what, it's time to retire it. Whoop, what's that? This is like a little lip gloss. Sample. What I loved about the box when I was going through the options is they have like one big thing in each of the options. I just chose to only pick the salad bowl and this, which is a little black gym bag. Because I don't really buy black to be honest. I'm not a, well besides today, I don't do the all black everything. Unless I'm wearing office wear. Ways on ways on ways. Get my door the Explorer on. I like the material because it's giving waterproof and it's got a bottom compartment too. I'm not mad at this. This actually looks way better than it did online. Hey. And what I like as well is they show you the prices of what these things are if you were to buy them yourself. So if you're kind of like me and you're like, well, I kind of want to get my bank for my buck. Hello. Just making sure there's nothing else at the bottom because I'd be the one. It is, first of all, upside down. That part. <laughs> Whoopsies, camera died. I say no, I haven't picked it up in a while. Super excited to try this tonight. I'm gonna put everything back. So I have to act like I'm opening it for the first time for TikTok. I'm trying to do a TikTok a day over here for February. 
I'm like, you know what? It's the shortest month. Let me get back into the rhythm of doing content constantly. And YouTube takes a little bit more effort, although TikToks take a long time. Tell me why I picked the leap year. I was like, just 28 days. Uh-uh, there's 29. Still less than most months, so it's okay. If someone's giving me something, I'd rather integrate it into my regular life and something I actually like than just like, oh, free stuff. Okay, because that's happened. It's just, I don't In fact, when I think about it, other than working with Muji four or five times, of once back back in the day, that was like a decade ago. I'm trying to think of all the companies I worked with. There's probably only a handful because I'm so picky, which is so weird because I'm so small. Like you would think I would just be like, give me it all, give me the wigs, give me the eyeliners, give me the color contacts, give me the bags, give me the jewelry. But I just don't want random things. I just don't want things for the sake of it to be shown you guys. I think especially because I don't have that many followers, I feel like it's insulting for me to be like, let me just show you all these things constantly. I never want to sell something that I don't believe in because that's essentially what influencing is, right? Gotta keep it real. Anywho, I'm gonna get back to running some errands and some boring stuff that I used to always record for you, but then now I'm like, I'd rather just get the things done instead of trying to make it aesthetic for you in the process so that I can just show you more aesthetic fun things when I have time. I don't know. Talk to you guys soon. Nothing like Second Cups Vanilla Bean Hot Chocolate out of this world. It's that kind of night. TGIF. Never been so relieved for a Friday night in my whole life. Let me show you what I got last week. I don't remember what this is called. I used to name all of my plants. Once upon a time, I had 17 in this small place. I'm trying to live like my grandma. She was like the biggest plant fanatic there ever was. So when she passed away, I started to get plants so that I could be close to her. I don't know how to explain it. If you've ever lost someone, and now that I think of a lot about it, I've lost quite a few important people in my life, but you try to live legacy and think of them in many ways. So with my grandma, it's always in the plants. This one's called a turtle something or the other, I don't know. But let's hope it's not like the ferns and vines I've had in the past, because those never last. And then this last one, I'm so excited for. It is a bird of paradise. So this is supposed to get as big as a fake one over there. And sorry if you never realized the one that I have over there in the corner is not real. I got it from West Elm. Best purchase I ever made. It was on sale. And if you know anything about fake plants, they are so overpriced. Like when I saw the price of that on sale, I was like, do I really want to do this? But it's going to last a lifetime. So it works, right? Let me just put this one away before it falls over. It is high time, over time, actually four months later since I last did something to spruce up this place. I had hoped to have everything done since November. It's now mid-February, so about that. I think I'm gonna tackle doing this countertop today. I really wanna say that I did it so that I can be proud of myself, but I'm actually terrified because the sink was so hard. But I wanna think positively. I mean, at least this sink is rectangular. This oval thing was not working for me over there. So we'll see how we do. My stepdad said to take the sink out. I think that's just doing the most. Like that's just too much for someone who's not trying to stay here for more than another year. But we'll see because in this economy, I want a really chill night. Do I really want to do this tonight or save it for tomorrow morning? I'm so undecided guys. What should I do? What should I do? From being so sunny and bright to raining, not complaining, it's better than snow or blizzard. I just have a little Davis tea haul to share with y'all before I go out and run some errands. Woo. I'm gonna switch my outfit. I don't necessarily dress for the weather, but I don't know what it is. I don't like wearing brights when it's gloomy outside. Is that just a me thing or do you tend to wear your neutrals, your dark tones and your pales when the weather is not it? So I got, surprise, surprise, a lot of matcha. Today's been a day. If I haven't told you guys already, who knows when this will even be up and stuck, but I started a new role a month ago and there is so much to learn. It's crazy. And I went back to the middle part because, I don't know, the way my side banging was, it wasn't really banging. So back to the middle part, maybe we'll try again. I wanted to go for like a 90s Aaliyah side swoop, but we didn't really get there this time. So we'll see the next time I go, since I go, what, 
once a quarter. I'm very low maintenance when it comes to my hair. Enough about that. Let me get out and check in with you guys when I do something more interesting. Like, I don't usually have ice cream like, whoa, in the winter time, oh, but that was amazing. That was amazing. Sure, that's small batch. <laughs> yeah. Sure, man. That's not small batch. Sometimes they don't really help 